So for those of you who don't know, Kiop was a DeFi project that a lot of people put their money into and it disappeared around, I think it was December 6th. Now recently, I got some emails and I saw some information last night that gives it a little hint of life and we're gonna talk about that here in this video right now. So for those of you who don't know what Kiopi is, it was a, a platform that you staked your money in and that the, um, you know, they, they gave about on average two to two and a half percent per day. And the crypto trader was higher, like 2.75 to 3% a day on average. And it was a great project. People aped in and they had a coin and all these things. And if you've been in it, you probably know all of these things I'm talking about. So as you can see on December 6th, they were having withdrawal problems. And then on the 7th, they said, hey, we had a, a DDoS attack um, by our provider, DDoS guard. Um, and they were violated, uh, they were responsible for the breach. Well, you know, whether that happens or not, no DeFi project lasts forever. A lot of them rug and you just never hear from them again. And a lot of them, you know, they say they got hacked or uh, broken into or their money got stolen. That's another way they commonly get out. A couple of these sinister projects, in my opinion, you know, lead you to believe that they're going to fix it and they're going to find a way to bring it back and they string you along. I can think a stable fund did this. That was my first real big burn. One of them. <laughs> PGV did this for months. Hey, we're, you know, we're going to get back online. We just got to do this. We just got to do that. Send your money here or no, so sign up for this. <laughs> I mean, it was a nightmare. It's like, uh, this is something very grim, but it's like having a loved one missing and you don't know if they're dead or alive for years and you never find out the truth. That's terrible. But I, I just can't, once it goes away, I just can't think about it anymore. But this one, you know, the, the normal stuff is happening again. Whereas if you go into the discord or I'm sorry, I got this email last night about this, this, uh, thing that popped up on medium. It says Kiopi AI. Kiopi platform update, recent security incident, and path forward. This is the nonsense that keeps you awake at night. Now, I don't like to put a lot of stock in this. And we'll get, I'll give you the facts of whether I think this will come back or not. There's a lot of speculation. You can go into Telegram. Well, that's not Telegram. Well, it is, but it isn't. You can go into Telegram. There's thousands of people speculating whether or not it will be back. They're saying, well, I looked at the... You know, I got an email and <laughs> this is the best. This, this guy's, I got an email from hello at Kiopi.ai. They can't fake that. I'm like, dude, um, have you heard of, of uh, what do they call it? Um, God, now I, I made fun of it. Now I can't remember the name. Oh, uh, email spoofing, right? It, was it email spoofed? Probably. Or was it not? I don't know. But there's all this speculation. I can go on and on and on and on and on about whether this is true or not, whether, you know, they looked up the, um, you know, the address, the web address, the IP address, the hoster, all these things. And here's the deal. Like if you, you see that, let's go back to here. Oh, here's the website, by the way. Hasn't changed. There is no website there. By the way, there's a lot of fake websites. There's fake websites pretending to be Kiopi. So you give them your money and they take it from you without giving you anything back. So just be aware that there is the Kiopi official website is not up and running. Okay, there it is. Woo! Not up and running. So don't get fooled by a fake one. Let's go back here. Website status. Security breached by hosting provider. So they're not stoked about that. The immediate actions that they took. All right. However, we can confirm that all user funds are intact and the underlying trading technology that powers our platform remains fully functional. Now, let's just start with that one. Let's start with that one. You know, we're almost to the end of December here. And if that were true, why would they have no contact whatsoever with anyone saying, hey, listen, everything's cool, right? Everything's cool. They did not have that. They, why would they leave people to speculation? Why wouldn't they figure another path forward? Why wouldn't they talk about it? Hmm. That's our first hmm. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, transition to a more secure hosting process. Dude, that shouldn't take more than 24 hours. Transparent communication and updates. There hasn't been a one. This blog will serve as a central hub for all the latest news developments ensuring that even users who are not on Telegram can stay informed about our progress. Now, look, 
I'm not saying this is a scam, but if this is a scam, they're going to set people up on here. Then they're going to tell them the path forward is to click on this link at this site and it's going to be a scam. Or this is the real deal. The QOP people decided that medium's their best medium to get out to you. I don't know about that. We want to clarify that access to your QOP accounts will be available to users without any additional fees. Thanks for stealing our money and telling us we can have it back without additional fees. Your trust is most and utmost important to us. Then why didn't you contact us? Because they have our email addresses. Why didn't they send us an email and say, hey, listen, we're trying to work things out. It's not working right now, but we'll get back to you. None of that came. Upon relaunch, all trading cycles were resumed from the point at which they were on the day of the hack. How are they going to do that? Timelines and plans. The relaunch the platform by January 4th, 2024. This date may change slightly. I bet you it changes a lot. However, the goal is to launch on the first week of January. We want to reassure you that all user accounts will remain intact. Next steps. Oh, here. Here's the support one. They're already sending you to a different site. That's a Telegram site. Let's click on that. Let's first, let's see what it is. Copy link address. Well, no, let's just uh, copy it as it stands. Copy. And then I'm not clicking on it. That's just too dangerous. We understand that you may have questions and concerns. Yes, we do. Um, but let's go to the Discord. All right. Let's go to the Discord. Lots of scammers out there. People are going to try to scam you in the Discord, by the way. They're going to try to get you to... I saw this one. She's like, oh, just direct message me. I'll give you the way forward. Yeah, she will. Way forward to her bank account with your money. Whoever that may be, that catfisher. So look at the announcements. Remember, this is Jordan. He was the, the um, what do they call it, the um, moderator. And so he is allegedly back or someone with, that took over his profile is back right here. It's the same Jordan, technically. And he's saying... Oh, uh, let's see where it is. Kyopi Discord channel manager is having problems on adding admins and users. He isn't able to give roles. So probably we will have to make new Discord. <laughs> Come on. Seriously? Like, make a new Discord? The channel manager is having problems adding admins and users? This isn't rocket science. Th this is not something that's going to be so difficult that a person with half a brain can't figure out. So I'm very, very very skeptical of anything like this. Will I follow it? A little bit. I'm not going to put any stock into it. I'm not going to think that QOP is coming back. Now, remember, my thumbnail had a question mark. That question is, QOP's back? Is it? Not yet. So if it does come back, I'll be shocked. I, I, it'll be like a first for me in the DeFi of a, a pro, uh, with a, a project of this size and magnitude. Uh, disappeared with no real words and then came back full-fledged full force as promised from the medium that anyone can open that account right now look let me see here one more thing this median let's go to this qop.ai this blog is dedicated to inform users about the process of relaunching okay they already have 754 followers okay home yeah let's let's follow that not uh, three minute read. Okay. But they didn't have a medium before. Why didn't they use telegram? Why didn't they use discord? You know, the, the, the allegedly the moderator of discord, Jordan, who was the moderator before, if that's still the same account, the same Jordan, you know, or, or if they hacked Jordan and got his account, or maybe he's in on it. I, I don't think so. And that's certainly not anything but speculation. And, and uh, it's not an accusation. And I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. Do your own research. Make sure that you understand the risk of before trading cryptos or buying cryptos or doing anything whatsoever with cryptos at all. You should only use risk capital. Um, I'm pretty good at that disclosure now. So look, all in all, do I think Kyopi's coming back? Absolutely not. Is this setting up for some kind of scam? Very, very likely. Very, very probably. Or is it just messing with people? Yeah. Look, they got 754 people to join their, their median medium, they probably are going to start pushing a fraudulent, possibly fraudulent discord, possibly fraudulent telegram, or they're going to bring back Kyopi. And I will be the first one to come on this channel and say how dumb I am for, for not trusting in Kyopi. Kyopi lasted a long time. They lasted from January of 2023 all the way till December of 2023. That's a long time in this space. I am shocked and awed 
that they lasted that long. So that's about it. I hope we all get a New Year's present of Kiopi coming back to, to give me my whatever I had left in there, um, you know, getting two to three percent a day. I mean, that was like that would be the best Christmas present ever. Um, maybe not ever. I got a um, uh, let's see the G.I. Joe Fortress when I was a kid. That was pretty dope. I will not lie. Uh, I also got a BMX bike a different year, but man, I feel spoiled now. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Hope to see you all in the new year. I hope to see Kiopi in the New York New Year, but I'm not holding my breath. I don't think you should too, but that's not financial advice. You heard it here, probably 33rd, and I will talk to you again soon.